Now the next week is for... Hello guys, uh, welcome to the new video. Before we go into the new video, I just want to show you again great software Rayboot Pro by the company Tenorshare. And this is the great tool for you to leave or enter the recovery mode of your, of your iPhone. And also you can do all sorts of system recovery with iOS 14 beta. So it's one click entering the recovery mode, one click exiting the recovery mode and repairing all sorts of issues that you can have more than 150 of them. Like uh, when you're stuck on Apple logo or when your screen won't turn on or recovery mode loop, etc., etc. It can also download easily from iOS 14 beta and it's fully compatible with the latest iPhone SE second, second uh, generation. So it's really neat and it's very useful and I use it all the time uh, instead of the iTunes. So once you click fix now, it will automatically, you know, restore your phone to the latest software. Hello, my dear friends. Welcome to my new video on jailbreak tweaks. Today I will show you 12 tweaks that you probably haven't seen yet. However, in case you missed my memberships video, please consider becoming iGeek member and enjoy three levels of memberships. More on this you can see in the above, in the above video. Now, the second thing, very important, I would like to send special shout out to my first channel members, the guys who made my day once my membership, once my channel was approved from the membership. So this is Mr. Zach Akda and Ikenaten Igbo. So these two guys are officially the iGeek members of my, of my really small community and guys, welcome and enjoy my video. Now, let's go into it. The first week, for today is called Adjacent Period. Adjacent Period is a tweak that puts full stop next to the spa space bar in your, uh, on your keyboard. So when you have your keyboard, as you can see, you have the full stop here, actually the, the dot. So whenever you uh, open it, it will always remain uh, there. Uh, it can be useful for you guys if you want to have it always visible. However, there is a trick which you probably know if you want to use it you just double tap the space bar so you can insert automatically your dot or the full stop so it's up to you if you can if you want to see see it all the time or not now the next the next week the next week for today i want to show you call hider now this is a free tweak and it just hides your caller id settings as you can see are pretty simple and straightforward Additional thing is that you can disable the ringer, the tone, for certain contacts where you can put the name here and you can put even the fake name so you can prank some people if you, if you are into these sorts of uh, things. Now, tweak number three is called chat speaker. Here it is. Chat speaker, first I want to uh, send a big shout out to the developer Prasa Dev who shared the tweak with me and foremost, to the Mr. Charles Baker who suggested similar tweak and it inspired me to look for this one. So thank you guys, you're awesome. Now, chat speaker allows your phone to read notifications that you receive. So you can customize many things in the settings of the tweak. As you can see, I'm gonna show you a few, a few things. You can set active mode. We have active mode, we have trigger mode. Now active mode means that you have this enabled uh, you know, all the time. So whenever notifications come, they will be read out loud for you. However, you can have a trigger mode so you can trigger this mode with certain, uh, with certain actions, certain commands that you can use. Now, I prefer active mode if, you, if I'm gonna use it and active mode options have, have uh, again, some additional settings. For each of these modes, active or trigger, the settings are the same basically inside and you can select certain apps whose notifications you want to be read out loud for you. So I've set messages app to be read uh, for me. So it's pretty neat tweak and especially for people who have trouble, you know, uh, seeing so visually impaired. I really uh, support these kind of tweaks which have this social element. Now, let me just give it a, a I'm gonna show you now. Let me just open another phone. And of course, for the tweak to, to work, we need to enable it, right? So where's my where's my head? Anyway, 
So as you can see, it doesn't need, it doesn't need a restart. So the, the settings are now saved and uh, let's first test it. So you can test it with speak now. You can write what you want here. I, I wrote, check your messages. Check your messages. So this is the sound, how it's gonna look like, right? So let's see how it will see, how it will sound. Hello. Hello. Here, it's not bad. How are you? See, I'm writing this. How are you? So this is what the tweak does. And I hope this answers the question to the uh, to Charles Baker, right? Who, who actually suggested this sorts of tweak. I really hope I helped this way. So this is chat speaker. The next one is called Comet. So this is the new tweak. And again, big shout out to the developer, iOS theme mod, who uh, gave me this tweak to test it. And this tweak is inspired by iOS 14 and its widgets on the home screen. So what does this tweak do? It just puts the certain, you know, um, certain widgets on your home screen. Now, these are the widgets you have. You can, uh, I put four calendar weather battery storage, and here are some other widgets that you can have if you if you want. Now, there are certain settings here for each of them. You can customize the apps, you can uh, customize the battery, you can customize the calendar, how it's gonna look like, etc., etc. I didn't go into all these details. Uh, actually, I just tested to see how it works. Now, what you need first, you need, of course, you have this nice tutorial here, but I'm not gonna go through it all. I'm just gonna go quickly. So what you need, you need activator tweak, well-known activator tweak in order to invoke this one. So uh, in activator first, I set up, so I have activator here. So in the activator tweak, I have set up, yes, here. So I have set up sleep button, double press to invoke to invoke a uh, comment and I have pressed long hold to uh, remove comment. So when I do this twice, you see I get the widget on the screen and I can move it around. It stays there for how you, you can even lock it. Sorry, not the tweet. It stays on the home screen as well, which is cool. So you can lock the position of it so you cannot move it. Then you can scroll through these uh, different apps that you enabled battery or the remaining the remaining storage now when i hold it disappears so this is a cool tweak it's a paid tweak and it's called comet so the next tweak is called far far is a free and very useful music tweak so i play i'm playing my uh, one of my favorite songs of all time glory box by portis portis had and this tweak gives you the option to turn off the music after predefined uh, time so i've set it up for one minute and after one minute, the music will stop. But how do you, how do you enable it? So uh, the music is playing, as you can see, I'm gonna lock my device. When I click on it, the music is, is still going. I, so there is music, as you can see, you can hear it. You can hear the music. And when I do this, it gives me the option to set the time. And I'm gonna set one minute, right, start. So we'll see after a minute, 7.24, I'm gonna speed up the video to see it. Yes, that's it. So after a whole minute, the music stopped. So you can set 10 minutes, you can set 15 minutes, you can set, you know, different, different timings. That's far. The next one is a paid tweak, and this tweak is called Lakeside. Now Lakeside, uh, is a paid tweak that gives you numerous options for customizing your dock. You can select from multiple styles in the tweak settings, like, you know, standard, floating, classic dock, or you can even hide the dock. You can, you know, uh, choose how many apps are shown in the recent apps if you choose the floating dock. You can add extra icons in the dock. You can customize the height. You can enable even animations so it can like blink. Uh, it can have these uh, border colors, etc., etc. So this is cool. And then you can change the colors of your uh, color of the dock. As you can see, I've selected the old school dock without uh, rounded colors, and it's reddish to match my to match my wallpaper. Now, what I don't like is when you change the color, the settings you need to do it manually. What I would prefer to have a preset 
I don't know, choices uh, and uh, preset choices of transparency and colors, etc. But you know, you can go in more depth with uh, setting it like uh, this. So this is Lakeside and it's a pre, uh, it's a paid cool tweak. The next week is Miriam. And I want to thank the developer Cans103 who was kind enough to share this tweak with me. Uh, this tweak is a system-wide customization tweak. So it's similar to Spring Tomize and Links to some certain extent, but it is more focused on hiding various elements of iOS. There are a lot of options that you can customize. You can hide the separators throughout. You can hide 3D touch menu separators, blah, 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 gray separators. You can customize control center. So I, I hit the grabber. I put the percentage on, on sliders. As you can see, we, we have the percentages here in brightness and in the uh, volume, also in the battery, but it's very small, so you cannot see it probably. Uh, then I've hidden the uh, do not disturb module, etc., etc. Then uh, what else do we have? System-wide, hide tab labels. I, I enable this clearing the spotlight after you close it. Uh, hide app dots, hide home bar, many, many different things, apps. Uh, where is this on the home screen? Yes, so I've hit the app labels and the folder titles, so that's why my, my home screen looks this clean. So it's pretty neat tweak, and you know, uh, some people might say that uh, there are overlaps between the tweaks, but honestly, I'm encouraging this because, you know, it gives you much more choice when you want certain tweaks, you know, among certain tweaks. So for some people, Spring Tomize is too expensive, but it does have more options than this tweak, in my opinion. Uh, Links is also very awesome, but uh, again, it's a paid tweak, but this is also a paid tweak, but this is the cheapest among them. It does give you a lot of customization still. So you can, you know, see for yourself and, and uh, see for yourself and choose. You can check out my videos. I've talked about Spring Tomize and, and Links before, so it's easily compatible. Now the next week, I already spoke about it in my previous video, but I'm gonna explain why I'm at, it's N95. And uh, again, thanks to developers, they, they shared this with me. Now, the first time I tested it, I showed it very briefly because this tweak was supporting only Apple Music. So it gives you those customized uh, masks and looks of your uh, artwork when you play music. Now, this one, uh, I'm showing it now because uh, the tweak received recently an update which enables you to customize music artwork for third-party music apps like Spotify. So you have, where is it, third-party apps. So you have supported now Spotify, Pandora, Tidal, YouTube Music, Deezer, Marvis, Angami. So I am using only Spotify, that's why I enabled it here. And then I select, I, I select did the, what was the theme? I'm not sure now. Is it like vinyl? Yes, I usually prefer vinyls. You know. However, as you can see, I just a small note. I have this gray things, and this is this is white, and this is after I installed Miriam Tweak. So this is just you know information to the developer. Maybe he can look into it. It's a small it's a small bug, but it's not a big deal. So uh, also uh, you need. Where is it? You need to enable separately each of these. So if you have Pandora, disable this, enable Pandora. Yes, it gives you support for two very famous music tweaks, Next Up To and Flow. But again, be careful, you need to enable them in order to work properly. So it's a very cool tweak, gives you 26 different themes with high quality and it, I really, I really like it and I really recommend it. Now, the next tweak is not to fill. Not feel is a uh, super cool notification tweak, which has a nice animation that appears with the notification banner. So you can easily see how much time is left before your banner goes away. Now you can preset in the settings, uh, when do you want notification or countdown, let's say, to start. And again, I'm gonna send a text to myself, hello, and you will see what I mean. So when I receive a text message, you see, it, as if it is counting down and once this one reaches the end the notification will go away so this is not a fill so uh, you know when the whole thing is filled then it means this it means this gives you how much time you have to you know pull it down and and respond to certain messages so this is not a fill very simple and sweet the following tweak does not have any settings 
and it goes throughout the system. It's called No Volume HUD. It's a simple and free jailbreak tweak. Now we have seen many tweaks that customize your volume HUD, but this is the only one that actually makes the volume HUD disappear completely. Right, so when I do this, you will see here, but there is nothing on the side. So when I go to any of the videos, let's say, okay, so I'm gonna give on them. So you see, there is no volume HUD. When he reaches the maximum, when he reaches maximum, new video you will feel new video. haptic feedback, but there is no volume HUD. So if you guys are into these sorts of things, you know, install this tweak. Ah, yes, this looks of the switcher is thanks to Miriam tweak. Again, I forgot to mention this. Okay, the next tweak is called package history, PKJ history. This tweak uh, is a free and useful tweak that shows the history of your installed jailbreak tweaks. So it gives you the app on the home screen. So you can see the installed history of your tweaks and you can see which one or updates as well, which one you installed the latest. So once installed, you will have this app icon on the home screen. However, please note that the history will only show what tweaks you installed after installing PKJ history, right? Makes sense. So this is useful if you have an issue with any tweak and you want to see what was the latest thing you installed. However, we can already see the history of installed tweaks in Cydia when you go to install tab and select recent. Uh, and select recent from the top. So these are the two ways, but this one is easier, right? It takes less time. So installed and then you can see recent and you can see which one, which week you installed the latest. So you can, you know, start uninstalling them to see what causes the problem. And the last one, now I'm a, a little bit shy to say its name. You can read it. It's spring peep. Now this, this week, it's a jailbreak tweak similar to Miriam. It's free tweak, but it has less options to choose from. So you will have several things to hide with this tweak, like lock screen camera, today view. As you can see, I have nothing here. So let me show. So there is no camera, there is, and I cannot uh, swipe to the left or swipe to the right. So if you don't want people to, you know, snoop around, whatever, you can disable this and nobody can use it unless you unlock your device. So it kind of brings me back to old times when, you know, this wasn't even an option. So also you can disable waking the screen if the music is playing, which is pretty neat. Disable the wake if music is playing. So these are the few things that you can, you can, you know, customize with uh, uh, this tweak. So guys, this is it for today. Please comment, suggest new tweaks or some old ones and make sure to check out the iGeek tweak sheet that you will see up here uh, that I update with the latest tweaks after each video. Peace, iGeeks.